Hi, this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. And in this video, we're going to show you how to log into your email account. So if you're watching this video, that means that I've already set up your email account. And I want to show you how to get in and get access to your email. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your address bar here. And you're going to type in mail, that's M-A-I-L, dot yourdomain.com. So for example, my domain is otiscollier.com. So whatever your name is, dot com and then you're going to log in. Now you're going to come to a screen like this and it's going to ask you for your username. I've chosen your username as your first name. So it should be your first name at yourname.com. And then what you'll do is you'll type in your password. And I've sent that to you. Now upon the first time logging in, you may come to a screen that will ask you to create a new password because when I set it up I created a password for you I sent that password to you you may want to create your own password that you can remember so there will be a screen in between this screen that actually will ask you to create your own password once you've created your own password it's going to log you into your into your your mail so obviously you see I have a lot of mail here because I've been using this for quite some time now this looks very similar to Gmail and the reason why it looks very similar to Gmail is because your email is running off of the same mail server as Gmail. And you receive the same functionality as anyone else with a Gmail address, except this is your own personal email for your own domain. Now, in other videos, in future videos, I'm going to show you how to maximize uh, your tool here. But there's some things that you can take a look at real quick. If you'll click over to the right hand side, you'll see settings. I'm going to click on settings. This is going to allow you to set up your email in a variety of different ways. For example, you can create a signature line, which I strongly encourage that you create a signature line. If you go on vacation, you can actually have a vacation message just like your professional email at work. So there's some things that you can do there. The other thing that I'd like to share with you is forwarding. So if you click on forwarding where it says pop in IMAP, you can actually forward a copy of your email to another email address. So if it's taking you some time to get used to this new email address that you're using, you can actually forward a copy of all of your incoming mail to another email address that you have. Now, I don't want you to get in the habit of doing that because the whole purpose of this thing is for you to start branding your email address and start using your email address. So what I what I encourage people to do is actually take their email address from somewhere else and forward it here to your your new email address here have all of your mail coming here and then you can log in here and then start replying back to your mail from this from this account now if you have Outlook set up um, you actually can come in and you can actually enable your pop features and you can get configuration instructions to set it up on your Outlook or if you have some other outside um, um, tool that you're using, email client that you're using to pull email. Even if you're using you know, the iPhone or you're using um, Blackberry, you can actually get all of the mail server codes to change that over so that you can log in. So again, if you want to get into your, your email, it is mail.yourdomain.com. This is Otis Carr, your personal branding coach, signing off, and I'll talk to you soon.